Consistently making profit is awesome, and you can do that whether the markets are bullish or bearish with arbitrage. And this video is gonna cover how to use Pionex's arbitrage bots, and this is how they work. It buys that coin as a spot order, and then it shorts that coin in the futures market. Now it's going to maintain a market neutral position where it's long $10,000 and short $10,000 for example, and then you make profit on the interest of that short position. So you are maintaining that market neutral position and you are getting interest from that short position where you're taking very little risk with your funds and you could be getting like 35% APR. And I know we've been in a bull market, things are just pumping like crazy, but what I've learned from the 2018 crypto crash is to limit my risk and at least have some funds that don't have as much risk as being all in on crypto. Now, I am not a financial advisor, but I have experienced extreme loss and I don't want that to happen again in the future, which is why I keep 10% of my portfolio in stable coins that do things to earn me interest. Full disclosure, Dan here. This video is sponsored by Pionex. I like what they're doing. They have incredibly low fees. They have a lot of tools to trade with. And if you don't already have a Pionex account, I do have a referral code that will get you 20% off the already low fees of 0.05% when trading. Now, if you compare this to Binance and KuCoin, which are already very low at 0.1%, that's half the cost. And if you compare it to Coinbase, those trading fees can be as high as 1.5%, which is 30 times higher. So with Pinex, you do get low fees and a lot of cool tools to help you out in your crypto investing journey. Now let's take a look at the Pinex arbitrage bot. So I am in the Pinex app. I prefer using it, but you can also do this on their website. From the homepage, select earn at the bottom right, and you can see the different arbitrage bots I have available. Right now I have CTSI, ADA, Doge, BTC, and ETH. ETH is set to moderate mode while the other ones are set to aggressive. That's gonna make a little more sense later when we set up a moderate bot and an aggressive bot. And you can see for ETH, my history APR is 22.9%. That is the average APR that I've been getting for every day the bot has been running. And you can see here, it's been running for 15 days. Today's APR is 13.62% over the past seven days, 16%. But if you put everything together for the last 15 days, it's 22.9%. With BTC, it's been 24.76%. Doge has been very good, uh, even though Doge hasn't moved much in the actual uh, markets. It's been getting me 34.4% APR. With Cardano, ADA, I've been getting 33.46% and CTSI 28.69%. At the top left, we have unrealized profit. That's just gonna keep rolling through until the next funding fee. The fee we paid so far for this has been 97 cents and the total profit that we've made is 1071 actually. It just got updated. It kind of updates frequently, so that number is gonna float around. And let's dig into the details. Uh, this is the transaction history. We have six hours and eight minutes left until the next funding fee, and it kind of shows how much profit we've been making. This happens every eight hours. And jumping into the parameters, I set this to aggressive and to the maximum leverage of 3x. And I was testing this with other coins for comparison. So if I go to the parameters for Doge, I have that at 2x and it has gotten me 34.4% while CTSI has gotten me 28.69%. When you use more leverage, you would be borrowing more, you would be paying more in fees. So more leverage doesn't exactly mean more profit. It really depends on how that coin trades. It's definitely not as exciting as just investing directly in that cryptocurrency, but having consistent income, whether the markets are going up or down, is nice to have, just to have some stability in a very volatile market and to limit your risk. Additionally, if you want to set up an arbitrage bot, there is a minimum and a maximum. The minimum to get started is 100 USDT and the maximum would be 50,000 USDT. With the moderate bot, you can use BUSD, USDT, and USDC. With the aggressive bots, those only trade against USDT. From the homepage, select earn at the bottom right, and you can see we already have an ETH USDT 
arbitrage bot running. This is our moderate bot. You're not allowed to have more than one running, so I'm going to shut this down and we're going to start up another one so you can see how that process works. And I had this bot running for 15 days with an average APR of 22.9%. And I know it says 0.94% profit, that isn't that exciting for 15 days, but over the course of the year, this would have been 22.9%. So to shut down this bot, I'm gonna hit the power button at the bottom left, and it says, are you sure you wanna close the ETH spot futures arbitrage bot? Yes, so confirm. Closing position, closed. All right, so now let's create a bot. Select create at the bottom right, arbitrage, and then we have moderate and aggressive mode. Moderate trades against just ETH, and you can use BUSD, USDT, or USDC. You just select the currency at the right. Then you can select the coins based on your balance. I prefer BUSD whenever possible, but for aggressive mode, only USDT is available. We're gonna use BUSD, we're gonna invest $1,000, and we're gonna hit create. Opening position. And that's it, now it's running. We don't have any APR set because it hasn't done much arbitrage yet, it just got started. And we'll see what happens in the near future. You can see how my other bots did after running them for about two weeks. Now we'll create another bot and we're gonna be more aggressive this time. We're gonna create something in aggressive mode and we can select from a lot of different coins. You can see what the 30 day APR has been for other coins. ICP has done the best recently. That's Insane Clown Posse. They have a very popular token. And if you believe that, you don't know enough about crypto, that does sound like a real coin name, but that's for Internet Computer. Not a great name either way, but uh, that's done 36% APR over the past 30 days. And Doge has also been very profitable. I have one of those bots running. And we can select from a lot of different coins to arbitrage against. And since this is for the past 30 days, we can change that up if we wanted to. At the top left, you can select that, and then it's gonna switch it to 180 days. And we can see how those coins have been doing, and seven days, so what's hot right now. If we had an arbitrage bot with sand, it would have been the most profitable for the past seven days. So let's jump into something. Yeah, let's, let's do Matic. I'm gonna set up a Matic arbitrage bot. I want to set it up for 1000 USDT and we have some options here. We can set the leverage, 2x is recommended. We can do 1x and, or 3x as well. The recommendation of 2x is pretty good, it's worked well. With 3x that's more leverage, that's more borrowing and potentially more fees and it adds a little more risk. With 1x, less risk but less profit, 2x is the balance in between. So I'm okay with 2x and we're gonna go with the recommended setting. The price gap control by default is negative 0.1% and we're ready to create. Allocating funds. It will take a moment to set up because it's buying the coin as spot and it is shorting in futures. Now the great thing about using an arbitrage bot it's gonna buy them both at the same time, so there isn't gonna be a price difference. If you try to do that manually, there is more risk, and the bot will continuously reinvest the profits you are making, so you make more money with the profits that you've already made. And there you go, the bot is running, and that's it. That's how you set up an arbitrage bot using Pionex. When setting up your arbitrage bot in moderate mode, you do have the option to choose which stable coin you want to trade against. It's USDT, USDC, and BUSD. And uh, as you know, with Tether, there have been some issues where they are not backed up by cash or regulated, so that does uh, create a lot of concern for me. Whenever I have the option to not use Tether, I don't use Tether. And if you're considering USDC, they are not that much better than Tether. I know a lot of people uh, like USDC, but if you look into it, Paxos did an excellent study on it. They have 61% that's actually backed by cash and then a bunch of other things. So uh, it doesn't give me as much confidence as BUSD. Because with BUSD, the funds are in an FDIC insured bank in New York and 96% of all BUSD is backed by cash and cash equivalents and 4% is backed by treasury bills. That's just a very short rant on stable coins because I can sneak it in here and not just have a video on stable coins because that's very boring. 
Now I know 35% APR is not exciting when that can happen in like an hour on a highly volatile coin. This video is just for people who are very risk averse, that they don't want to take a lot of risk and they still want to make profits in the crypto markets. Because as you have likely experienced, investing in cryptocurrency is very volatile. You could have a lot of green days, but it only takes a few red days to take away all of those profits. And if you've made a significant amount of profit, it really doesn't hurt to move that into a stable coin and earn interest off that because investing is a marathon, it's not a race. You just want to invest consistently over a long period of time. And with that, I hope you got your full value for today.